Hi everyone, this is Z here and today I want to talk about text analytics, specifically text analytics around um, transcripts of natural meetings. Uh, now, if you work in a large organization, you may be familiar with tools such as Microsoft Teams. Uh, and I assume that a lot of you are probably working in a hybrid manner where video meetings are not unusual. And if you run a video meeting in Teams and you make a recording, uh, you need to tell people that you're making a recording because it's not ethical to record people letting them know. But if you make a recording, you get a video, but you also get this nice transcript file. And this transcript file looks a bit like this. Uh, where essentially it is a series of uh, who said what at what time. Uh, and if you want to, you can actually also download that transcript file as either a document file or a VTT file. And it looks a little bit like this. So this is for a meeting that I've uh, anonymized. Um, so I put speaker one and two. Uh, but essentially it's like a text file. Uh, and... The problem with this is that it's not really something that you can manipulate or do stuff with. So you can do a control, find, and uh, check stuff if you're curious about, you know, what the people talk about, who spoke the most. But it's not the easiest um, format to sort of work with. So there is actually uh, a Python tool. Uh, it's a library called WebVTT-Py. And what it does is it allows you to uh, translate these sort of files into something a bit more structured that you can use for um, exploratory analysis. And that's exactly what I've done. So I built a script and that script allows you to uh, do that. So we're going to use it on that sample that we just saw. You notice straight away there is a malform caption error and uh, that was quite frustrating when I first saw this. And it has to do with um, the timestamp formatting. And what I mean by that is that the timestamp is in this format where it is number, 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 dot, number. Uh, but for whatever reason, um, web VTT uh, does not like that and needs the format to be a bit different. So I've written a bit of rejects. It's not super efficient, but I guess it does the trick. Uh, if you have the link to the GitHub, which I will put later, and you think you can do better, please uh, fork the GitHub repo and tell me how to do it better. But essentially, uh, I've managed to write some rejects that allows us to uh, reset the format to something that the uh, library likes. So now we can run it. And once you are formatting, you formatted the text, uh, you can now extract the information into a nice data frame. Uh, where you have start time, end times, what was said, who said it. And uh, with this kind of information, you can do quite a lot. So here's an example where I have extracted this into a simple Excel file. And I've used this Excel file to just run some very high level exploratory analysis. And uh, rather than do this in Python, I'm going to cheat uh, and I'm going to use Power BI. So Power BI actually has some... Um, out-of-the-box uh, text analysis feature. So you can do score sentiments, you can do key phrase extraction. Uh, and this is kind of nice. So I've extracted the um, structured version of uh, this particular meeting. And now I can see uh, between the two speakers, speaker one had a lot more talking at that point in, uh, throughout the whole meeting. Uh, I have something that looks at the uh, positivity or the negativity of the meeting over time. So example, uh, the, it, it tells me these are positive statements, but some of the statements are a bit more negative. You do have to trust the algorithm that Microsoft has set up for sentiment analysis, so it's a bit more black box, but it's good enough. Uh, you can do things like you can see, and it's dynamic, so you can see what did speaker one speak about versus what the speaker two speak about. Uh, you can do things like uh, review what topics were discussed at a certain point in time. Uh, so within the first uh, three to five minutes, uh, these were the kind of discussions that uh, were had um, during the meeting. Uh, you can do things like, let's see whether or not people talked about information. You can see it came out quite a number of times because they were... Uh, 13 instances in terms of, you know, conversation dialogue where the word information appeared in the text. Uh, and 
you know, it really is just a way of exploring your data. And you can see that this didn't take very long. Uh, it started from converting uh, a transcript file into something that you can manipulate, feeding it to a tool that is uh, more or less uh, sort of simple to use, so no coding, uh, and you get some insights, you know. But of course, it depends on the kind of questions that you want to ask of your data. But uh, I thought I'd just share this. And what I will do is I will put a link to the GitHub repository where I've put in this uh, code. I will also put in the sample file and also, you know what, I'll throw in the Power BI template as well. So I think that was more or less it. Uh, hope this is helpful to somebody out there in the interwebs. Uh, Till next time, this is Z. Thank you. Bye-bye.